Hello English learners, welcome back to Learn English Simply channel. Today, we're taking a trip to the supermarket, a place we all visit regularly. You know, this is a fantastic opportunity to learn some essential words and phrases related to supermarket. Words and phrases we all need in the supermarket. Stay tuned. The first word is grocery store or grocery store and some people pronounce it as grocery store grocery store so grocery store grocery store grocery store the three are correct all of them correct and all of them mean supermarket example i need to go to the grocery store to buy some food I need to go to the grocery store to buy some food. Another example, the new supermarket near my house has great discounts. The new supermarket near my house has great discounts. The next word is shopping cart. Shopping cart. And if we take an example, we can say, don't forget to take a shopping cart when you enter the store. Don't forget to take a shopping cart when you enter the store. Another example, my shopping cart is almost full. I need to check out soon. My shopping cart is almost full. I need to check out soon. The next word is aisle. Aisle. An aisle refers to a long, narrow passage between rows of shelves where products are displayed. Each aisle typically contains specific categories of goods, making it easier for customers to find what they need. For example, one aisle might have canned goods, while another has dairy products or snacks. The aisles are usually labeled or numbered to help with navigation. If we're going to take an example, we can say the cereal is in aisle five. Another example, I met my friend in the produce aisle. I met my friend in the produce aisle. The next word is a checkout. And if we're going to take an example, we can say, there was a long line at the checkout. There was a long line at the checkout. Another example, I forgot my wallet at the checkout counter. I forgot my wallet at the checkout counter. And some Americans pronounce it as counter. Counter, not counter. They drop the T sound because it followed an N. In English, in American English, if there is an N, then followed by T, they usually drop the T. So instead of saying counter, they say counter. Another example, internet, they say internet. International, they pronounce it as international. They drop the T because it comes after an N sound. So if we drop the T sound, the sentence would be, I forgot my wallet at the checkout counter. I forgot my wallet at the checkout counter. And if we pronounce the T, the T will become a true T. So the sentence would be, I forgot my wallet at the checkout counter, counter, ter. I just want to remind you, don't forget to check Voice Learn this online. It is a valuable asset for English learners. It has a wide range of English lessons in which you can learn a huge amount of English vocabularies in real life situations and practice reading, listening and pronunciation too. There you can practice pronunciation and reading and the artificial intelligence will tell you if you speak correctly or not. It is something like magic. You have to try it. The next word is cashier. Cashier. Example, the cashier was friendly and helped me pack my groceries. The cashier was friendly and helped me pack my groceries. Another example. 
I asked the cashier if they accept credit cards. I asked the cashier if they accept credit cards. The next word is receipt. Receipt. Example, don't forget to take your receipt after paying. Don't forget to take your receipt after paying. Another example, I keep all my receipts to track my expenses. I keep all my receipts to track my expenses. An American pronounces this word as all. So they say, I kept all or I keep all my receipts to track my expenses. The next word is produce. Produce. Produce means fruits and vegetables. Example, the produce section has a variety of fruits and vegetables. The produce section has a variety of fruits and vegetables. Another example, I always buy fresh produce from the market. I always buy fresh produce from the market. You can also say, I always buy fresh produce from the farmer's market. I always buy fresh produce from the farmer's market. The next word is dairy. Dairy. Example, we need to get some milk from the dairy aisle. Or, we need to get some milk from the dairy section. We need to get some milk from the dairy section. Another example, I bought cheese and yogurt from the dairy aisle. I bought cheese and yogurt from the dairy aisle. The next word is meat. Meat. Example, I'm looking for the meat section to buy some chicken. I am looking for the meat section to buy some chicken. Another example, the meat is on sale this week. The meat is on sale this week. The next word is bakery. Bakery. The British pronounce this word as bakery. Bakery. Example, I love the fresh bread from the bakery. I love the fresh bread from the bakery. Another example, the bakery has the best cakes in town. The bakery has the best cakes in town. The next word is sale. Sale. Example, there is a big sale on all items this weekend. There is a big sale on all items this weekend. Another example, I bought these shoes on sale. I bought these shoes on sale. The next word is price. Price. Example, the price of this cereal is too high. The price of this cereal is too high. Another example, can you check the price for this item? Can you check the price for this item? If you notice here, I'm saying item, not item. Because in American English, when the T letter comes between two vowel sounds, it is pronounced as a light D. They call it a flat T. So, instead of saying Item, they say item, item, because the T letter comes between the I vowel sound and the E vowel sound. The next word is bag, bag. Example, do you need a bag for your groceries? Do you need a bag for your groceries? Another example, I always bring my own bag to the store. I always bring my own bag to the store. The next word is shelf. 
shelf. Example, the pasta is on the top shelf. The pasta is on the top shelf. Another example, the shelves are fully stocked today. The shelves are fully stocked today. The next word is brand. Brand. Example, I prefer this brand of coffee. I prefer this brand of coffee. Another example, they have a variety of brands to choose from. They have a variety of brands to choose from. Now we're going to stimulate a simple conversation between two characters, talking about going to the grocery store or the supermarket as we learned earlier in this video. Hey, I'm going to the grocery store. Do you need anything? Yes. Can you pick up some milk from the dairy section? Sure. Do you need anything else? I also need some fresh produce. Maybe some apples and carrots. All right. I'll grab a shopping cart and head to the produce IR first. Great. And don't forget to check the bakery for some fresh bread. Got it. I'll make sure to get everything on sale too. Thanks. And don't forget to keep the receipt.